to complete the lineup and we're just about ready to go. It's Guinea's day at Turfentain and sparkling weather conditions as well and they're racing away from the 1160 meter marker. Together again broke well. Magical Stones is up there in the leading line. Smashing in the yellow colors is also very handy. Agar Bomb is slightly over racing in the early stages. Blup Blup is on the stand side. Racing just two lengths off the leader. Then Bilingual followed by Bacardi Bay. Further back to Quiet Strength who races six or seven lengths off the leader. And down the inside is Hallowed Secret. As they reach the halfway stage, they've got 600 metres left to go. It's smashing the leader with Together again along the inside and blop, blop the stand side. Agar Bomb is getting into it now. Further back to Magical Stones and Bilingual as they head into the final two furlongs. Blop, blop takes over. Agar Bomb starts to run at it down the centre with Smashing. Down the inside is Together again. Bilingual trying to find a finish further back as they reach the final 250 metres. Blop, blop is the leader on the stand side leads from Aga Bomb down the inside together again and Bilingual still finding on the outside but Blop Blop goes very well here Blop Blop is going to go on and win it Blop Blop beats him Bilingual in second third placing will go to together again and then came Aga Bomb Magical Stones and then came towards the inside Bacardi Bay further back in the field were Quiet Strength and Hallowed Secret well done to the winning owners. So well done to David and Heather Nevenhazen, Mrs. Vili de Koka, Mr. Faree, and Mr. Lenders. This was bred by um, Winterbach Stud. And also, Danny and Renelle Collins raced the mare Kilauea. And uh, she was uh, particularly good. She was by Trippy. Blop Blop opens up the meeting here at Turfentain. Three round 40 a win, one round 20 a place. Most importantly, the winning combination of David Nevenhazen and Gavin Lorena have the big race favourite. Sandringham Summit later. Well, the championships are off and running in earnest, and I'm standing here with a gentleman who's probably going to be the busiest person on course today. Gavin Lorena, congratulations. Running a fantastic race aboard Bloop Bloop. What can you tell us about this young filly? I'm sure you're not working with it, but what uh, would you have discussed with David Nivenhazen going into this race? Yeah, uh, Benny, lovely to have you on course today. Um, yeah, she, look, she ran such a good second for us uh, three starts ago, and uh, she put her foot wrong. It was a winter track, and uh, she didn't pull up well after that. So, you know, all credit to Davey. Um, today's her third run after a rest, and um, after I rode her last time, I said, we've got to change tactics. Uh, you know, we've got to drop her in and, and let her run at them. Um, but, you know, the way, the way the race planned out today, I said to Dave, I said, I don't think I'm going to find the cover. I'm just going to have to hold her up in front. And, uh, you know, it's nice that it's worked out and she, she's won a good race. She's got her confidence back and I'm sure you'll see more of her. Responded quite well at the 250 slash 200 meter mark. Yeah, you know, I just had to hold it together as long as possible. And uh, she gave me a nice kick today. Okay, busy day ahead for you. What stands out? What can we put our money on? And what's exciting for you to ride as Gav? Yeah, look, obviously my first time riding, um, well, sorry, in the, let's start from the next race. So yeah. seductive. She's not at her best fitness-wise. Uh, she does have the class to win, but uh, she's looking quite burly at home. So I'm, I'm hoping there. Um, I've got Joker Man in the third. He's well drawn. He's just won a maiden. Looks like a competitive field. Um, and then in the fourth race, I've got Zeus. Uh, going for my 10th win on him today, so very excited to ride him. Uh, in the fifth, I've got Ipso Facto. She's got a bit of a tricky draw, uh, but her last start was phenomenal over the 1400, and very excited to ride it today. And then I got Wint, uh, White Pearl in the, the Phillies Guineas. Um, she's, she's got a deep draw to contend with. Uh, her work has been good at home. Um, so just hoping we get a bit of luck in the run. And then Sandrinum Summit, uh, very excited to ride him today. He was doing really well. And uh, Pietro Manzano, obviously, he's got a huge campaign ahead of him. Uh, it's his first run of this new campaign. Run from him. Well, we'll see what so seductive has for us in the next race. Congratulations. Looking forward to a very busy but prosperous day for you as well. Thanks very much, Benny. And big thanks to, to Vilkobos Drift and Mersfontein. Um, it's going to be a fantastic day to David and his team. Well done. And to all the winning owners, thank you. Congratulations. David Evenhaze in the winning trainer. Good to see you, Dave. Uh, different stage, different day. Bloop, bloop, finally. First time of asking. Uh, delivers the goods. What did you think of that last 250 to 200 meters? I thought that was inspiring. 
Um, you're talking about this race now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, um, she wasn't the easiest ride. I think Gavin had to restrain her. Uh, we learned a lot from her last time. And uh, Gavin, Gavin rode a crack of a race. So it's, uh, she got a little bit uh, tired at the end, but she's probably looking for further being a twice over. You weren't disheartened by that last run? Terribly, yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to thank uh, Danny Collins. Uh, he, he bred the filly. Uh, she's out of the, the May Kilauea. And, um, yeah, thanks, Danny, and, uh, you know, um, for letting us take, take her in that. And, uh, unfortunately, maybe one day he'll come back into the game, but um, I'd like him to. Uh, this may perk him up a bit. And then to all the owners, John, Brendan, um, Vili and Vili number 22. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vili. Uh, promised last time I saw you, you know, so you put me under a bit of pressure. Yeah, yeah and uh, and then uh, later on, Gavin said it all about Sandra and him, um, expecting him to yeah. basically win it, you know. Uh, but there are other horses in the race, and we have to they have to take us on. Yeah, a lot of excuses last time out, but Sandra is is looking primed and ready for this particular day. Congratulations once again, David. There is a check from a, a lovely lady by the name of Natalie Turner, the CEO of the ROA. Uh, the super bonus of 20,000 Rand will invite all the owners in uh, because that is your check uh, from the ROA. All smiles, all smiles. Very, very well done, gentlemen uh, and lady. Uh, well done, sir. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to pose for pictures. There's our winning check there. 20,000 Rand for the super bonus from ROA. Congratulations to all the winning connections of Bloop Bloop. We have certainly started off the day in winning fashion. Congratulations. Uh, all the best for everything else. Oh, does he have something to say? We, uh, he put you on the spot. Congratulations. Well done. Inspiring run, but it, it was about time. It, it was about time, but I must say, Gav, pearl of a ride, and David's always believed in this horse, so yes. I can just say thank you very much to them and this great team that we have as owners as well. Yeah. Fantastic group of guys. So the day, day started good for Mr. Nivenazen. It's going to get even better. Absolutely. It's going to get even better. We're going to mark those words. My good sir, you, you have the biggest smile out of the group. Fantastic day ahead. It looks like uh, Bloop Bloop is on up. Yes, definitely. And I would like to say that thanks to David. Uh, we really had um, a lot of issues with this horse in the beginning. But yeah, brilliant ride by uh, Gavin. I said to you, no Gavin, no one. So, and to all the partners, congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Enjoy it. And then we have Edward here standing in for David. David is actually the groom that takes care of this magnificent horse. Uh, Edward, you've been delegated here to collect this check on behalf of David. Uh, what do you know about Blue Blue and David and anything that he said about this horse? Blue Blue Blue, she worked very well. I'm very happy from the work. Thank you very much for Kevin and for the team. Thank you. Forgive him for being so soft-spoken. Fantastic run. He says that uh, David has told him that Bloop Bloop works very well at home and that he was uh, certainly waiting for that, that win to come in. Uh, 1,500 Rand to you, David, wherever you are. I'm Davovo. That one's for you from uh, World Sports Betting. Right, so we're going to be off to race two, not too long from now. But the, the championships are off and running in earnest. Stay tuned because there's a lot more racing here at Turfentee.